The following video will show not only the small working prototype of the wind system, it will show later in the video the water turbine during a couple of recent tests. The turbine is an omnidirectional vertical axis system that can be built in different sizes to meet a variety of applications. The Robinson wind turbine has several major attributes. First, it works in less than one half the wind speed of the typical propeller turbines now operating all over the world. Secondly, although the small prototype currently being shown is not silent, the next full-size prototype is designed to run in an almost silent mode. Only in very high wind speeds should you hear any noises, and they will be no louder than the typical outside noises during high winds. Additionally, due to lower operating speeds, this should lower the environmental impact on wildlife. Additionally, all the electrical generation components are installed and maintained at ground level instead of in the large hubs known as nacelles at up to 450 feet above ground. These facts all contribute to a higher efficiency to cost ratio. This is the turbine itself. Oh, this is the one I want to fix, not that Oops, no swearing. Anyways, uh, so basically this is the mounting system and the support to uh, to handle the amount of uh, torque that you're probably going to produce. Guesstimated torque. This is the actual hookup to the mechanism. Hey, hon. We're like, we, we need to go this much deeper. <laughs> no, okay. you know what? That's all right. I, this is no, if we can. No, you know why? Because... You just uh, had to unwedge it. Yeah, all I have to do is just the boats. You know, I just can't. I'll show you. This is the... What do you call it? This is the... Uh, oh! Motorcycle uh, gears. This is a Harley-Davidson front disc brake that's going to be used to apply the resistance or the uh, force or the... Um, it's really called resistance so that we can determine... Uh, the foot pounds using a, uh, it's called a load cell. Just a calibrated load cell, simple device that's uh, available anywhere. Okay. And, uh... Okay, we're moving. The water turbine is being pushed at specific speeds to determine the amount of RPMs and resistance. During the test, the boat was pushed to the side approximately 6 inches at 4.3 knots, with the load cell still registering an impressive 300 pounds of force, even with the loss of torque because of the boat being too small. You can see the load cell with a wire leading to a small monitor. We're actually doing a test run here, waiting for our engineer, Joel Haas, to show up. Florida Atlantic University recently received a $5 million grant to study and test the possibility of putting 3,000 water turbines in the Florida Gulf Stream. We believe our patent-pending water turbine design is perfectly suited for this application. Huh? 